everyone, it's Kimberly. Welcome back to the Lumen Guru. Thanks for joining me. For those of you who aren't familiar or newly subscribing, I'm a soul coach and intuitive advisor, and I assist twin flames as well as those on the ascension journey, and I aid you along your path to enlightenment. So um, if, if you uh, would like to work in private with me, private session, intuitive advisement, um, you can check out all those services on the website as well as on 1111. I have a manifestation and abundance workshop coming up, a couple spots in that still left. So you can check that out. And also, we have a three week intensive program that's coming up in November, November 26th through December 16th. There are a limited amount of um, spots in that in that program. So um, they're, they're starting to fill up. So um, take a peek if that might be of interest to you. It's a three week intensive, it includes it, um, individual coaching group sessions, daily um, uh, information, worksheets, exercises. It's going to be really great, and it's basically to help you master your um, your ascension journey and this whole twin, understand this whole twin flame process better, clear your energy, set you up to be um, very powerful and in, your, in alignment with yourself for 2018. So... Um, you can check all that out on IlluminGuru.com, click on book a session, and then those two things that I just mentioned are under classes and workshops. So now to the energy of this week, um, using the Lover's Path Tarot this week, so switching it up a little bit, okay? Um, and I've pulled a bit of a simpler spread. I have a pretty straightforward message for, um, for the collective. So I want to focus on the feminine, the divine feminine first, okay? So what's coming up right now is a focus on um, fertility for her. And this is about, this is about getting into her um, creative flow. This is about getting into herself, aligning with self, and using her gifts, a mission, um, Creativity, and I really feel for the feminine. It's also I've been hearing a lot from my clients and from those that I work with that there is a um, this this void or this loneliness that creeps in, and that you know the struggle is how do how do I fill that or how do I fulfill that? And they're saying that you can fulfill the void or the loneliness through getting back in touch with yourself and especially through creative projects. So anything artistic, anything that puts you in a creative mindset, um, anything that connects you back to you because we can't be filled up by others. We can only be filled up by ourselves. Others will come in to mirror our um, wholeness or our not so wholeness, right? So um, this is really important. We're, I'm going to go back to that in a minute because there's Stuff that's influencing the feminine about the masculine. We're going to talk about that more in depth. Over, crowding over the feminine is the three of cups. And this is really just showing her that, um, and this also has another meaning. We're going to talk about that in a minute. Um, that this is a time to be embracing her femininity, celebrating herself, learning how to self-validate and celebrate yourself is huge. And, you know, gathering with other feminine energy and, um, um, like I said, finding joy, celebrating, getting out and networking, connecting with others. There, It's a time of connection, not isolation. But what they're saying is during the times of, you know, being alone or feeling lonely, that it's time to connect with your, creati your creator from within, okay? Okay. And that is a way that you will find true fulfillment and it will connect you back to you rather than something outside of you like TV, movies, escapism, um, drugs, alcohol, um, other people, latching onto other people, the phone, the internet, um, those things that we don't realize that we're using to fill us up that we are. So they're saying go back to your creativity. Okay, go back to connecting with you. This, I feel like, is also symbolic of, um, for some of us, for a new <clears throat> love interest coming in. And this is going to happen over the next six months or so. Um, they're showing me, for a lot of the feminine, um, April. And um, it feels like March through May. Okay, so somewhere in that time frame for many of you. 
And I feel like this is a timeline or a path that may occur for those of you who have a masculine who, um, ha where you've just gone into separation or gone into separation again, um, because we do see the masculine going off right now in many of the, um, in many of the dynamics. So going off to either sow his seeds or to harvest another relationship. And we'll talk about that in a moment. So what the feminine needs to know is that um, for many of you, there is someone else coming in for you, and he is going to be a reflection of your more healed self. Um, the work that you'll do between now and March, like through the next eclipse season, you're going to be healing a lot of stuff that was unhealed. You're also going to be releasing the attachment and the connection, and um through that release, it's going to enable you to find 5D union with your twin and not need it in the physical. That way, when you can, um, uh, so in the 3D, what they're saying is some of you are going to choose in the 3D not to unite um, or not to unite at this time. And because you'll master the 5D union, the 5D ma marriage, and um, there may be someone else that comes in. Others of you will choose to have a union, but I don't feel like that's going to happen until like um, September or like later in 2018 um, because the masculine will have a turning point in May. So anyhow, um, this is about someone new coming in for you as well. So creative projects, aligning with self and Someone new coming in between March and May for many of you. And I feel like it's many of you who are experiencing the masculine twin going astray right now. Okay. Um, we're going to talk more about that when we get into the masculine. Um, so power is coming up. Okay. And this is coming up in relation to Arthur and Guinevere. And some of you might know the story, but I feel like this power, it this is talking about... Um, giving your like an imbalance of energy and giving your power to the situation or giving your power to the masculine and they're asking you to pull back your power um they're asking you to really get in alignment with your true power because that is how the fulfillment comes as we know um i'm gonna look up this uh what this guidebook that is just so I can give you a little more insight. So, yeah, this is about, okay. So this is about not willing your twin to come back in, okay? Um, I feel very much like this is about, in the past, we let go sometimes, or we allow the separation, but we don't let go. We don't let it go. We don't let the attachment go. And we use our power. We almost abuse our power by manipulating the person to stay attached to us. That can be through wishing, wanting, hoping, you know, latching on energetically, um, visualizing the outcome. And so what they're saying is, in order to get really pure with it, the only thing that you can really hold space for, visualize, or, or, or do on a 5D level is just kind of the, like I said, holding the space. Um, you can have conversations with your twin flame and you can um, communicate at that level um, through dreams and 5D meditations, but they're saying try not to draw him back in because um, the shared energy is a seven of staves, and this is all about what's yours is yours, what's mine is mine. And for this feels for the twins very much like you've got to go heal yourself and I've got to go work on me. And so when you start pulling at the other's energy, there's going to be, um, like an energetic muck and you want to just be careful. Uh, I want to hold that card up a little bit more. You want to be careful not to, um, also absorb the other person's energies because I feel like the masculine's in a confused state right now. He's um, almost going into a second dark night of the soul for many of the masculine. And this one's going to be a big one because it's going to lead him to a clearing in about four or five months or so, six months. Um, they're showing me May. Um, so, but your only job is to you're actually being asked to totally detach. 
you're asked, you're being asked to detach, could not take on the other person's energy of we'll always feel our twin flame, we'll always have the signs, but they're saying like, what's his is his, what's yours is yours. Stop trying to control it. Um, and vice versa. And that's, you know, something that's coming up. Um, so I'll go over the masculine. The crowning card is the temptation card. Okay. I don't know if you can see that temptation. It's not coming. We're having a glare today, but it's temptation and it's Paolo and Francesca and he's holding her, her wrist. And this is about temptation because he's, he is being tempted by another, um, feminine energy. He's either going into another relationship or he's in it or he's thinking about it or he's going to be in it for many of the masculine. I just, I'm sorry. I know it hurts for many of you, but um, it's not everyone, but it's a lot of the collective right now. Um, he So that's that temptation, literally, in that sense. But this is also about him trying to control things. If you can see, he's got his hand on, on Paolo's got his hand on Francesca's wrist here. And this is about him trying to control things in your dynamic, him trying to control or him feeling like he's being controlled by you. So now he's taking back the control and going, ha ha, I'm going to go over here and do this and I can do whatever I want. And I don't have to be with you. And, um, this again is part of like a second dark night of the soul. I feel like for many of the masculine, um, for the current energy for the masculine, the princess of saves is coming up. And you know, this is about communication. This is about like having some knee jerk reactions. Um, not like not very well thought out plans. Um, he's just kind of reacting to his ego, um, desires right now. Um, I think communication is going to be strained between the twins. Um, there's something more authentic that he probably needs to say, but he's blocking himself from doing so. And um, until like this plays out for him, he won't be ready to speak more truth. Um, he hasn't even arrived at it yet. So for the feminine, if you feel like you have things to say that you can't express because he's gone off in a separation or with another um karmic relationship or higher self relationship as I call them. Um, and you're left with things to say, write them down, write and give that energy. Again, this is about power, not giving the power to the other person by, you don't want to pour energy on your twin flame in a sense of willing them back or, you know, I need to express this. I need to say this, say it to yourself, give it to yourself, give yourself the love, give it back to yourself. Um, if the masculine's not available to listen or isn't in the space to receive, you're not supposed to be having that exchange and communication right now. Okay. It'll become tit for tat. It'll, it'll turn into a fight or it'll be cold. One will be warm. One will be cold. You, you know what I mean? Like hot, cold. It, it won't go well. So the only choice that you have feminine is to give, communicate with yourself and give that energy back to yourself. And understand that the masculine is going through kind of second dark night of the soul. Um, underneath for the masculine is the princess of arrows in reverse. Okay. And we look at this card like this. This is confusion. Okay. This is his confusion. This is all about his psyche. This is about psyches right here. Um, but this is about confusion for him. It could be obsession. I think he is obsessing over, over you, you divine feminine souls, but he needs to go off and do something else. He needs to go, he needs to not feel like he's being controlled. He needs to go explore that temptation. He needs to go into his ego again for whatever reason, because that's going to help provide more clarity for him and, um, when he emerges from it, he'll have a new level of awakening. And um, I do feel like in all of this that you can't worry about the masculine's timeline with this temptation, with whatever he's exploring, with this confusion. Because feminine, you're being asked to move forward. You're being asked to go up the ascension ladder. You're being asked to receive the new relationship that's coming in for you, for many of you. 
and you're being asked not to will your twin flame back into your life. And this is really, this is actually how the true sacred marriage forms. This is actually how you become united in the 5D is by releasing that attachment. And I think one of the reasons why the masculine is going off and um, you might hate him, you might say he's confused, he doesn't know what he's doing, why is he with her? Um, but the truth is, is he's serving you a gift, feminine, and that gift is detachment. Because he's almost leaving you with no other choice but to detach, okay? And so I know it hurts and it's painful and you're being asked to grieve it. If you're in that situation, you're being asked to grieve it and truly, truly detach. Not it's done forever, but detaching in the 3D so that you can hold, literally, purely hold space in the 5D and keep moving forward on your path. Creativity mission, new relationship, um, celebration, validating self, celebrating self, um, no more controlling or manipulation of the situation, detaching, allowing things to just play out as they should, not waiting, not standing still waiting, moving forward. Okay. Remember what's mine is mine and what's yours is yours. And although we always have this mirror reflection going on, sometimes because we feel like, oh, you've got the same, you know, wound I have, or you, oh, I understand it, I can fix you, or I can heal you. But the way that the other person is going to heal is by you healing yourself and solely focusing on yourself and working on yourself because the other person is in charge of themselves. And through the elevating, through the ascension that you do, you will elevate the connection, as I always say. And it, that will help the other, your masculine counterpart for many of you, to awaken. And so if you resist that, okay, so what happens if you resist this? If you resist this, you're going to feel stuck, okay? You're going to feel depressed and you're going to feel stuck. And you're going to repeat the cycles of your wounds. This is an opportunity for the feminine to break out of her wounds, to learn how to self-validate, to learn how to celebrate herself. To learn how to detach and not try to manipulate or control the situation. To receive what's in line for her. To get in alignment with herself, her creativity, her feminine energy, her true self, and all the people and the amazing things that are going to walk into her life. That's what you're being asked to do. And for the masculine, masculine's got to clear out this confusion. It's, it's, he's got, he's confused. Okay. And you cannot go to him and say, well, don't you want me? Or, um, well, what are you confused about? It's like, he has to go through it and experience it himself. He's got to go off and explore this temptation. He's got to go off and sow his seeds, so to speak. And, um, what the communication, remember, the communication that you'll get from the masculine right now is not really authentic. That he won't be ready for that for several months um, to communicate again from a more authentic way. So don't be discouraged by it. Just allow him, allow, allow him to be. So underneath the bottom of the deck is the king of arrows, okay? And so... um. With this, I feel Adonis is coming in, okay? And with this, I feel like we are, we're being asked to raise our standards. We're being asked to put ourselves first. We're being asked to trust ourselves and we're being asked to detach. We're being asked to detach from the other. It's like this This is beckoning us to get in alignment with ourselves, to detach from the other, to stand on solid ground within ourselves. Um, this is about integrity. This is about um, not pulling at the other person, not begging, not chasing but really lining up with ourselves, okay, and detaching.
emotionally from our twin flame in the 3D. That doesn't mean you cannot love them or him or her. That means that you detach and that you, the places where you were attached to the twin, like 3D attachment, you take that same energy and you fill in the holes within yourself. Okay. Like where you're not committed to yourself, where you're not living in your integrity, where you're not, um, in alignment with self. Okay. So that's the message for this week. And I hope that that comes through as, I mean, it's, it's pretty straightforward. And for some of you, this won't apply, but I think for many of you, you may be experiencing something like this. And I, I think it's important. I think the cards address it. And I think it's important that we address it. So if you're really struggling with how to detach emotionally, how to grieve, how to get work through some of this heaviness, um, how to just allow the masculine to be on his own or how to allow the feminine to, you know, follow her timeline and allow others to come in. You know, if you're struggling with all that, um, usually there's somewhere in your wounded self or unhealed self that you actually hold the key to unlock that little that little button or that little, that lock that is keeping you in resistance or keeping you in fear or keeping you stuck. And I can, I can assist you in working through that if you do want to work one-on-one uh, -on -one with me. So, um, until next time, I'll see you guys next week. Okay. Take care. Bye. Bye.